Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. And the tired, beautiful wife, Joy Nightingale. We're uh, on our venture today. We have landed in the middle of Pennsylvania at a Cabela's oh outdoor God. store. Uh, we're not buying any hunting gear, no. We're, we're here to actually look at taxidermy. <laughs> so, just a warning if any of you are animal activists out there, this might not be the video for you. Close your eyes. Not saying that we're for hunting or we're against hunting. I'm just saying there is a lot of taxidermy here. So there are a lot of dead animals. So just just a, like a little heads up. Uh, so, natural history. Yay. Yes, it is like the Museum of Natural History, just with lots of camo and hunters. Uh, we're waiting in the car for it to open. We, we have a lot of outdoor stuff planned. We don't know how well that's going to go today because we, we did hit a little bit of a rainstorm. You hear it on the, the window. It will. We're going to show you right now. Crummy weather. We do have crummy weather. You can sort of see the... Ooh, the boat statue. Pew, pew. The cool little statue we have out here of a <gasps> frontiersman. with the boat. Yeah, boats and rain. <laughs> we have frontiersmen. In the canoe, which is really cool. I was going to get a better shot, but not in this weather. So we'll probably do it underneath the, the sign. We will try. We and no guarantees though. So let's uh, start heading inside and look at some taxidermy and some cool stuff inside this Cabela's here in the middle of Pennsylvania. Yay. Under a little awning, we're able to get a better shot right now. Okay. Of it's a little backwards of the frontiersman and his Native American guide and canoe sculpture. It's pretty cool. But we're about to head in. Joy's shaking out our umbrellas. Joy, Hi. we're filming. Hi. Come with us. So step right up. Let's go for this ride. Let's shoot some animals. Oh, he was cute. He ran a little. And he's going to go back. And four. Oh, somebody else did it. Well, let's shoot the monster outside. Now over to this area. You want to do a few joy or? Oh, I'm. You're good. Bad. I would definitely miss everything, except for this thing probably here because it's right there. Are you shooting that first? I'll shoot the beaver first. I thought he was really cute. He was. There's the fairy. And goodbye, fairy. And reverse. He doesn't hide that well, though. Still see him. <laughs> Former shots. I met the squirrel from so high again. He was cool as well. There he is. I named him Chip. Chip? Yeah. So where's Dale? Oh. Nope. I do like the campfire. That's like my favorite right now. And yeah, we'll get a good one for the campfire. Mm. Where's the net trap? Campfire. Where's the last one? I'm gonna try for the tree across the way. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey! A score of 180. Oh, 100, oh. 180. How many shots did we have? I mean, you get a bunch of shots. It's a pretty good deal for 50 cents. I'm ready to show you all tax story, but I love that we actually have to pan for gold, a whole gold panning section. Well, kids love it, right? Get your own rock polisher and your metal detectors. Love yourselves. <gasps> it's a kid's gun that shoots salt to kill bugs. Uses ordinary table salt, folks. Hey, no batteries required. No. So this is what we came here to see, folks. I'll take that living, I'll take that living. This massive 
taxiderm display. A mountain of taxidermy here this in this store. This is just one side of it. We're gonna go walk around the front end. I just wanted to get a cool aerial view. Hunters contribute their taxidermy. This is something, folks. You take it how you'd like to take it, but it is a lot of taxidermy. I like mountain goats jumping and playing up there and some rams. Let's head uh, down to the first floor and we'll take more, a better look at this all. You even have an airplane inside. I heard that pilot was mighty horny. Yeah, they're antlers, I know, but it's still funny. I like we even have actually a mannequin in it. He is not taxidermy, folks. Dude. They have every animal here, folks. We got from rattlesnakes to prairie dogs to jackrabbits. Oh, wait, let me see what Joey's showing us. There is a little fox over there, a cute gray fox. And then there's another fox right over here. Hey, no, yeah. This is my favorite part of this display. We have some moose raccoon, but then in it, we have all these fish that are just swimming around to the taxidermy display. I like the moose's legs are actually in the water. And then they make the raccoon look like they're going for the fish. Here we have the bear. He wants to go for the fish too. And as we proceed down, yes, remember folks, do not throw money in. These are real fish. They don't want your money. We have right here the little beaver that seems to have just chopped down the wood and made his dam, which helped make these fish a cute little pond. And they're North American big game here at Cabela's. And I'm gonna just, just pan up to show you, starring with these white-tailed deer. And as you proceed up, the animals get bigger and then this is just holy moly. Joy said it before. This is an overwhelming oh, the amount the of deer. Things. Oh, yeah. We have some seasonal things as well here. Obviously, you see the leaves are changing. It's a nice fall display. I like the little groundhog. We come to more cold, colder climates. We have some caribou. Oh, we have, we have a grizzly bear chasing a marmot. I like the grizzly bears. We have black bears on one side of that. But my favorite animal, I prefer mine living personally. Yes, oh yeah. We have some gray wolves here that are going after the caribou, chasing them down to the grizzly bears. Oh, these poor caribou didn't have a chance. Oh, not John, I'm mistaken, sorry. Polar bears. I was mistaken. I know they're polar bears, folks. I just was still excited by the grizzly bear chasing the marmot. Hugh Jackman, is that you? It says Wolverine, I don't know. Some Arctic wolves having to stand off with the musk ox. Ooh, and one of Joy's little favorite animals, an Arctic fox. Honey, I told you, I prefer my food. Well done, not rare. Why do you always cook it like that? Poor moose. Those bears are going to devour him. Is that Winnie the Pooh? It looks like he's trying to get that honey. That's so sad. The bees, the bees are attacking him. He's behind me, isn't he, again? Yeah. Definitely right there. Right up there. This is gonna end bad, isn't it? Um, not if we just move along. If I don't turn around, he's not gonna see me, you see? We can do like where we just pretend that he doesn't see you at all. Maybe he just wants a big bear hug. No, I don't think that's the thing. Also have two more moose over here as we 
come around. Canadian, Canadian moose, eh? But folks, you might think, wow, that's the most taxidermy I've ever seen in one spot. But wait, there's more. This is just the center of the store. We still have each corner of the store has its own taxidermy display. Let's go check those out. Deer heads wrapping the perimeter of this store. Welcome to deer country, folks. Say, I, I was not expecting this. I thought it was a little corner display, not another whole, a wing of taxidermy, folks. Non-typical whitetail. He has funny antlers. a new meaning to deer in the headlights one after another after another and now we have have some some bigger deers mounted on the wall with plaques talking about their hunters and the trophies and oh dear and for if you bring your kids here they could even get their crushed pennies. Oh, he's so cute. Look at this little stinker right here. Got another little skunk. He's coming up here. I think he's gonna spray this guy trying to build a fire. What you'll find in those woods, some of the biggest antlers ever recorded came from found sheds. Like that knife handle buck over there. They were found way back in the 60s and measure an amazing 236.8 typical points. I think he was killed with a little rubber band gun. He's so tiny. Yeah, because no Ray. No, no, it's just because it's raining out. There's no Ray a drop of golden sun. <laughs> oh, okay. What ruffled your feathers, grouse? So that there was the deer country. I love the sign. Support wildlife conservation after we looked at thousands of slaughtered deer. <laughs> Teach his own. Are we on safari in Africa? No, still in Cabela's. We are approaching their Africa exhibit now. I do like this display though of the, the lionesses chasing the kudus and then the hyenas in the background, looking at the leopard, waiting for scraps to fall for them. It's a nice setup. I mean, it's weird seeing a bunch of things I know are endangered species, like white rhinos here in a hunting store in Pennsylvania, but it is still a nice display. We have some baboons. I know it's a little dim lit here, folks, but the next animal I think you'll be able to see one of the dangerous five. A giant elephant. He doesn't look dangerous, I think. Uh, he think he's not gonna come attack me now. Dangerous fives are the elephant, the lion, leopard, cape buffalo, and rhino. Some of the world's most deadly game animals. Dead than deadly in this photo of uh, this hunter with him. Ah, Dick Cabela. Hmm. I wonder if they're related. I just want to hear like all the Lion King music when I'm in here. Da the way da. Wanna hit the hippopotamus for Christmas? There we go. One of my favorite animals, the hippopotamus. 
zebras, I have to say, folks, people might take this mean, but I don't mind seeing taxidermy zebras. Oh, God. This is a story quickly. Years ago, I was at the Dutchess County Fair in upstate New York, and near the petting area, there was a zebra, and I went to pet him, and he almost took my finger off. He bit right down. There was blood everywhere, and I went over to the people working and went, maybe you shouldn't have the zebra in the petting zoo. For little children to stick their fingers in. Look what he just did to me. And they went, oh. Sorry. And every year since, there hasn't been a zebra at the petting zoo area. After all those dead animals, we figured, let's go to Cabela's Aquarium. Nothing like a fish zoo here in a hunting store. One of my favorite fish in this world are catfish. I even have them tattooed on my chest. Yum, yum. I think they are the cutest looking and also one of the tastiest fishes. And a cool fact, some people don't realize what catfish is. No scales. It's a smooth skin. We have a little turtle. I like this cactus. She's just chilling, laying his head. We actually have another turtle next to the catfish. I don't know. He doesn't look in the. No, no, he's he's moving. Okay, I got a little scared for him for a second. Do I think he wants to be right? Another turtle hanging out on this sunken boat. What we have on the other side. The bluegill sunfish is one of my favorites. The bullhead catfish is my favorite catfish to eat. And all these other cool fishes. Cute little aquarium for the kids. I like this guy. Joy, what do you think of the aquarium here at Cabela's? Oh my god, I plan to say it's lunch. Lunch? <laughs> we getting any fish for lunch today, Joy? Maybe. Maybe. Joy's getting hungry from looking at them. <laughs> we finally find living animals here, and she wants to eat them all. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh. Ending with some trap. We're outside. Of the... This is the entrance to the aquarium. Some rainbow trout. Some brown, trout. brown trout. Oh, trout. This definitely is the trout display. I these like two, the these two are chasing each other's tail, which is really cute. Oh, it's kind of pretty. Sadly, it is not the trout house. You just, are you having a Dr. Seuss moment? One, One fish, two fish, 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 fish blue, blue fish. fish. <laughs> and on that note, Cabela's taxidermy display. Been there, done, done that. that. Remember, folks, safe travels, eat well, and live life.